Bible relates that Thomas Jefferson went so far as to edit the Bible to eliminate any interpretation. And that is an accurate portrayal. It took him 16 years. What he did was he took a Bible and he cut out line after line of anything that Jesus said. And he said, that's what I want to focus on, what Jesus said, not all these interpreters. Where the lost symbol is wrong, however, is that Jefferson's Bible was given to every incoming member of Congress during the first half of the 19th century. That happened in the 20th century. An important theme in the lost symbol is the idea of transformation. Brown's evil villain used tattoos as a declaration of power. In the Chamber of Reflection, an hourglass symbolized the transformative effects of time. And a noetic scientist discussed the mind's ability to transform cancer cells into healthy ones. In Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol, they talk about transformation in two ways. One is a, a kind of fanaticism that is very um, exclusive. They ultimately lead to a negative consequence. You can think about Nazi Germany as being a transformational movement. On the other hand, we can look at the spiritual and wisdom traditions of the world and see that these kinds of transformations can lead to a flowering of our human potential. As the lost symbol illuminates, our founding fathers understood that link to the past. Together, they brought forth a nation, a new Rome, that built on these beliefs. There's one thing that binds all Freemasons together. They are searching for light. They are searching for wisdom, for truth. They are attempting to make themselves better people in that search for light. As we have seen, the novel uses some real facts in creating a great work of fiction. But sometimes, the real world is just as fascinating as an imaginary one.